With me today is uh, Dr. Dilip. He is doing volunteer uh, here in my youth medical unit of Ramkishan Math. He is a MBBS doctor and preparing for his PG. So I am just requesting Dr. Dilip to share with us how does the philosophy of Swami Vivekanand help him in his day-to-day -day life and his practical decision-making purpose. Hi everyone. So uh, Swami Vivekananda is inspired me from my childhood. So I studied in my school. My dad is running a school by the name of Swamiji. So I grown up with by reading the stories and books of Swamiji and all. So in now in present situation when I'm preparing for my PG and all, I feel sometimes slow and I I get out I want to get out of this thing and I want to go for a job and all. But uh, Swamiji quote helped me a lot. Swamiji quoted once. Arise, awake, and stop not till your goal is reached. So whenever I see, I have stick that quote in my room. So whenever I see the quote, I want to start it again, and it push me to reach my goal. And see, whenever they, there yeah. may be some, you know, low point or point of delusion or point of darkness. So yeah. how does uh, Swami Ji's philosophy help you in those moments? Yeah, uh, in, for that point, I feel lucky to have some grace of Swamiji. Because when I was deluded out of the uh, out of the subject or I'm going somewhere, losing myself in something else, I always get someone's help to drag me back, drag me back to my points. It's uh, so I I don't I I didn't do purposely. I was just lucky to have the grace. Okay, uh, many times it's come to our mind, does God exist, does God not yeah. exist? Th the same question Swamiji also pursued in his life. Yeah. So, in those moments of questioning, you know, existence of God, yes. uh, how you feel and how do you feel this philosophy help you to be rooted in, uh, you know, in uh, on, on the ground? Yeah, yeah. A lot of time happens to me because when I see others or uh, when media has influenced me, I, I see, I look upon uh, Western countries and all. I kind of feel like, okay, God doesn't exist. Only we are what? Only human made the God, some kind of thing. So in that moment and all, I will share you one moment. So when I was in the dilemma, I was not going to the temple and all. I, I was just crossing Mailapur to some other place. So my uh, brother who is driving my car, he suddenly let the car into the uh, Maila Purmat. Okay. So that time I went to the meditation hall, I sit for the while and I felt kind of it was dragging me. There is no escape for me, even though I am diverting, I am diverted from the God and all. Swamiji always dragged me in and he put me in the place. So okay. I felt his grace is with me and I am lucky to have that. Okay, so you do you think these grace factor help uh, a youth to uh, pursue the right path or to be steady in the right, uh, you know, the path which, uh, uh, you know, career yeah. and mot uh, motivation? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, so, uh, as the days pass by, I see, I observe people from my childhood, right? Uh, we are not, nowadays, our youth are not following righteousness and everything and all. It's a kind of question nobody teaches. So when it comes to that point, uh, Swamiji's teaching and all help us in a very good way because he believes in youth. He's a monk. He's not only a monk who teach God. He teach about patriotism. So that was when the youth inspires uh, patriotism and God, he will be in the good path and he, uh, he will make the... Uh, country to grow up. Thank you, Dr. Zaleep. Thank you for sharing your mind, your, your life and experiences. Thank you very much. This is Madhvi Shree from Mayu, Tamil Nadu. Thank you. Ramkishan Matt.